and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are gonna talk about an innovation in Hampton City Schools that went so well the first year, it's expanding. It's called the Flex Program, and my guests are Gary Skeen and Shannon Pullman. Welcome. Thank you welcome. for having us. Thanks for having us. So Hampton, there's so much going on in Hampton City Schools that is breaking new ground. And I think the FLEX program is just one of those things. Gary, do you want to tell us a little bit about what it is? Uh, so you know, the FLEX program is our, our fully K-5, currently virtual program that we have here in Hampton City Schools. Those are with our own Hampton City teachers, our own Hampton City's guaranteed and viable curriculum. Uh, as we were coming out of the pandemic, we decided, um, you know, after kind of researching different elements of virtual programs that were out there, um, it was in our best interest as, as Hampton City to create our own program. So we kind of took elements from the in-person traditional setting as well as our current virtual programs and even some elements of homeschooling so that we could really create a program that's innovative not only for our students in Hampton, but you know, as we expand and it's something that is open to anyone in the state of Virginia. So that's really cool. But now nationally, all we hear is student loss, le learning loss during the pandemic. Everything bad, virtual learning was hard on kids. You're saying that's not entirely true. So it's not necessarily entirely true, but I think that the key with virtual learning is that you have to create an environment that's not just a, a lecture-based system, which is really what's relied upon within our current virtual learning settings. We really took what our, 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 our program is and really made it engaging uh, and created what, are, what we call our our world famous immersive adventure Fridays that really have our students engaged in what they're doing. We provide all of their equipment for them so they have hands-on learning with their science projects and with math so they have manipulatives at home so they're doing that interactive piece with the teacher um, and the inter those immersive adventures are so popular we currently have a 98 percent attendance rate with our students because students don't want to miss these adventures. We also have uh, student opportunities to have field trips. We've had our fifth graders out on the boat on the Hampton River oh. um, doing uh, water quality testing and biodiversity um, studies. Um, we've had students in the uh, Hampton Aquaplex, um, second graders, learning how to swim. So they're Hampton City yes. School students, so they're in that Learn to School program, Learn to School, Learn to Swim program, and they're involved in anything that, that you guys do, right? Yes, so any opportunity that their in-person students have, we are offering it to our uh, flex students. Who is a flex student? Like who is a good candidate for it? What families or, choose that option? So the big key with this is that we really want to create a partnership with between family, school, and student. So this is not just a student coming to get information. So families that want to be involved in their student's education so that we can create individual plans for support for every student. Because, you know, just as our motto with Hampton City Schools is every student, every day, whatever it takes, we're really taking that to that, that next level to say wherever they are. Uh, you know, the FLEX program has students within Hampton, but we also have all seven cities in the um, uh, in the Hampton Roads region are represented in our program and we have students as far away as Richmond this year that have been in attendance in this program. Wow. So how many students are you serving this year? What are your, you know, number of classes or grade levels? We we currently have um, one one class in K through three. Each of each, K through each three. Each K, okay. K through three. Um, and then in second, or excuse me, in fourth and fifth grade, we have two classes. Um, our teachers are Hampton City School teachers, um, but we do have one teacher that actually is in Pennsylvania. Um, so she's able to teach um, her, her um, second grade students from Pennsylvania uh, virtually. That's really cool. She just doesn't go on the field trips. Right. <laughs> we, we took that on. That's right. This is so cool, but th they are Hampton City students. So this is not, is there a cost for this program? If you live in Hampton? So currently the program is free for students that are Hampton City students. So those students that are enrolled in Hampton City, this would be a free program for them um, as those kinds of students, yes. And it's supported the same way that they would be if you were in class. You've got tax dollars, you've got you know local and state and all that kind of stuff is what's paying. But if you're outside of Hampton, what is, is there a difference? So any student that resides in the state of Virginia currently is free in the FLEX program. Okay. Um, and that, that was the model that we kind of used this year. So, but they do, they are registered as a Hampton City student, yes. So they count in your whatever daily sense. There's right. some big number that we count in terms of school enrollment. And they're part of that, yes, no matter yes. where they live. That's really cool. So what are you learning? I mean, you're so new. They still have to take all the standardized tests that they would take, you know, yes. if they were the in S person. All the SOLs and our citywide tests as well. And it's too early to know <laughs> to right. know how they've done, right? Well, we've had some citywide um, benchmark um, 
formative assessments that we've uh, given to the students. And they're right there with all of our, our Hampton City students. So they are showing that they are learning and growing and understanding these concepts um, just in a, a different setting. So any parent, I mean, I would assume you've got to have certain criteria, like you have to have a parent at home during the day or wherever the student is on the computer. You know, they have to have that kind of support. So that's gonna limit right off the bat who, who this works for. What else do you see in terms of families that might want to do this? Were they families who may be used to homeschool or families, th that kind of thing? So this is a really great model between what, what, what we've got with public school and as well as homeschooling. So this is really taking all of those elements so that we, create, we can create a program where all families and all, all, all staff are in partnership so that we're really creating an environment that each student is thriving individually. And you know, one of the other great parts of this program is that there's a lot of choice that's involved in how students show their mastery and, and content skills. Instead of students just having assignments that they do that are chosen directly from each person, the families kind of have a voice in what their choice is for how they distribute that the, that knowledge and Get show that. Out. How do you do that? I mean, that's really a different model. So students have you know, in-person class time with the teacher face-to-face, mm -hmm. -face. Um, but then they have an asynchronous log that they're able to go in and, sh and choose, like Gary was saying, um, an activity, a lesson, um, create something, um, do something, and show the mastery of, of that skill, um, as opposed to maybe another worksheet that you're just doing in, in, in the classroom. Um, so that choice is a big part of the flex. Program. And it's really kind of created this new dynamic of creativity. You know, we've had some students that turned in some some weather forecast or a whole news for like a whole news show that they've produced based on what they're doing as their project because each quarter they have a culminating project that they get that choice in how they're going to present that. It might be right here sitting in, in your right. seat one day. Wow. Because the, the products that we've seen are amazing from these students. I bet. That is just really cool. All right. How, if I'm a parent out there saying, oh my gosh, this would be great for my kid, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have uh, interest meetings that are coming up. Um, they're all on our, our, our website, hcsflex.com. And um, um, the parents can attend those virtual sessions um, to hear all the details. You gotta learn the virtual right, right from the beginning. You <laughs> yeah. don't show up in person if, if is, what you're aiming for is virtual. This is all virtual. So parents um, and students, you know, encourage students to come too so they can hear what is gonna be expected of them. Um, and um, parents will make the decision then. Applications, uh, they'll, they'll apply um, and then we'll review the applications um, and, and go from there. Wow. Wow, I just, that's amazing how, how different, and, and it's an example of, okay, we went through the pandemic, we threw ourselves into this, we didn't know what was gonna work, we tried a lot of different things, and instead of then going, okay, now we're back to normal, you're saying, wow, how can we use that? Right. There were kids who thrived right. and who did really well, so how do we keep them you know, going if that's, what they need to do. It's like what Gary said, every child, every day, whatever it takes. And now, like you said too, you know, wherever they are. Um, and this is good for the kids that need it. Is Hampton the only school system doing this in Virginia? There are other programs. Okay. But virtual. there's no program like that's ours. quite like ours. I bet, I, I bet. This is really well thought out and, and planned and hopefully very successful. Well, is there anything else you guys want to add before, um, before we close? I, you know, just really, uh, we encourage every parent to go to hcsflex.com. That's our website. Um, those applications are currently open. If you have questions, um, you'll find a plethora of information there. We've got a 75-page uh, student uh, handbook that kind of walks you through the entire process, what a daily schedule would look like. Um, and please reach out for, for any questions. We would love to have every student that, would, that wants to be part of this program to be part of it. That is really cool. Now, you filled up pretty quickly last time is we my did. understanding because I did talk to um, your director so is that going to happen this year we I mean we should be telling people if you're interested sign up quickly I mean what do you what do you think that so I would recommend signing up quickly I mean you can always drop out later if you find you, you go through can, the process the and process, it's not right the process will be a lottery process based on the okay. amount of spaces that so we it's have. not first come first serve right okay so they're gonna have until March 31st to fill those applications Everybody out but does. Good. do it up front now before you forget you don't want to get to that last minute and say hey I've forgotten mm -hmm. um, so you know if you're really interested go ahead and reach out we are open 
We are a completely open line of communication. Ask those questions. We really want to be invested in your child's education just as much as you do. All right. Well, I can't think of a better way to end than that. So <laughs> thank you both for coming. This thank is you really for having us. eye opening. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. And thank you for watching. This is just one of the many ways that Hampton City Schools is really out in the forefront of education and finding the best way to educate every child. So please look into it, even if you don't have a student, just learning what is going on in Hampton with your tax dollars is incredible. Thanks for watching.